hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm doing a dimensional gel nail so first off I'm showing you the flexi finger which I've received from nails of interest for my Christmas present I know it's not Christmas yet but I knew this was in my package so I did have to open it thank you girl for that and also the video for the rest of the presents will be up on my channel Christmas Day I'll leave her link in the info box above so be sure to check her out she's an amazing youtuber so I'm just sticking it onto my palette now and it just gives it more weight behind it because I've got nothing else to stick it on at the moment so here I'm just setting it right and I'm just going to get a tip and also the ring is off now of interest with the cat on because she knows I love cats so thank you again for that girl so what I like about the flexi finger is you can put the nail tip in where with my kitty you have to glue them on so it saves all the gluing and the wasting time when I could just be doing videos so as you can see there so as I said in the beginning I'm doing a dimensional nail for you guys so I'm using some young nails sculpt build gel and base gel now when you're building the nail up what you want to do is you want to use the base gel because it's thinner than the build you can use a build gel but it's going to leave the nail thicker where if you use the base gel it does do the nail thinner so i'm going in with my base coat here guys not too much and we've all as always you want to be careful not to touch the side walls of your nails and also your skin i said that completely wrong guys you want to not touch your skin and your cuticle area guys so I'm going in with my lacenta here and it's just white so what you want to do is you just want to add it randomly in different places because as you build it up then it gives it that three dimensional look which is what you're after so this is my first layer As you can see, then I'm going. I do go in and I'll cure that for 30 seconds, no, 60 seconds. Sorry, in my LED lamp. Then I'll come back in and I'll do another layer over the top of that. I do wipe my brush because there is still little bits of glitter on there, and you don't want to get your glitter into your base gel. So I am wiping my brush in between, guys. And then again, I'll cure that for 60 seconds. Then I'll come back in and I'll put another coat on before I put the other bits of glitter on. Also you want to make sure that your pots are gel are nowhere near when you're putting the glitter on because the glitter does tend to go everywhere. So I've cured that again in my lamp for 60 seconds. I'm going in again with my other layer. And then I'll go in and I'll cure that again for 60 seconds. Then I'll go in with another layer, which I end up putting the next lot of glitter on. And this is Lacenta's Unicorn and the next one is Lacenta's I'm Yours and this is all I like to say tinsel but probably a different name but it does look nice so as you can see it's just little strands so I'll cure that again in my lamp for 60 seconds and then I'll go in and I'll put my last coat of base over just to lock all that in at the moment guys Then I'll go in and cure again for 60 seconds and one final last bit of base coat. And then I'm putting the moiler on top, which I just thought add some more dimension to the nail. Not a lot, but just a bit. Then I'll go in and cure that again for 60 seconds. 
Oh no, sorry guys, this is my last bit of base coat now, so I'm just going and putting that on top again, guys. And I'll cure that again for 60 seconds, and then next I go in with the build gel. This is how it looks before I put the build gel on. So now I'm going in with Young Nails Build Gel. And now I'm just building the nail as I normally would and just encapsulating everything in gel or embedding as you normally would. I'm turning the nail upside down in between just to make sure I've got that nice arch on the nail. Making sure my side walls are all clear and then I'll go in and I'll just drag a line down the nail. I'm sorry this bit's out of view of the camera guys. And then I'll go in and I'll cure for 60 seconds. Then I'll foil, foil it. I'll wipe it over first, get the tacky layer off first. Then I'll go in and foil the nail down. Starting at the side walls, then the cuticle area, then the tip. So here I'm just using my e-fold to debulk any of it that I don't want on there. Then I'll go in with Model 1's top, No Wipe Top Class and you'll see this nail come alive now guys. It's quite a lot of work to do but if you get your head down you can do it. So thank you all for watching guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also don't let anybody do your sparkle. See you in the next video guys. Bye.